So we have a matchup between two greatly improved teams from last season. Wisconsin is 14-4 with a 6-1 Big Ten record. Um, atop of the standings, while Minnesota has a 12-6 record and a 3-4 Big Ten record, which is already more wins in the Big Ten than they had last season. And you look at Minnesota's roster from last season. They had Jameson Battle, Dawson Garcia. They had Payne down low. That's a solid front court. Uh, you'd expect more wins than two, but their problem was was their guard play. Their guard play was not up to Big Ten standards, but they've addressed that via the portal, and they have a talented freshman in Chris Christie who's averaging 10 points per game. But this is a much improved Minnesota team, and obviously it's a much improved Wisconsin team where I think Wisconsin is one of the best teams in the country. Um, Wisconsin in this matchup has had the upper hand. They've won six straight. They're 11-2 and two under great guard, and they've won 15 of their last 17 matchups against Minnesota. Um, it was a dogfight last year when Wisconsin went to the barn. Uh, it was a lot of Tyler Wall and Stephen Crowell feeding them on the block, and each guy had 21 points in that matchup. Um, I'll expect less of that because Wisconsin, their games were really ugly last year where they just fed the post to Wall and Crowell, and they would pivot, 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 pump fake, pump fake, punk fake, uh, reverse pivot before they put a shot in, just jockeying, playing football down low before they get a shot up. It, Obviously, Wisconsin is much more efficient on offensively. They have more weapons, more firepower. They don't rely on that ugly style anymore. So I don't expect it to be such an ugly game like it was last season. Um, and something to consider is Elijah Hawkins, who's uh, first in the country in assists per game. He's second in the Big Ten for steals per game. He sprained his ankle two games ago against Iowa and against Michigan State. He did not play. Minnesota put up a solid performance on the road uh, at the Breslin Center, but they came up a little bit short. But... If Hawkins is not playing, that that does change things significantly for Minnesota. He, he's that, That's a guy who stirs the drink for you. Be, do, Marge thanks to him, Minnesota is eighth in the country in assists per game as a team. Um, if he's not playing, I imagine they'll plug Payne into the starting lineup. And then uh, something to watch out for that I noticed is Dawson Garcia, who throughout his career has been a solid three-point shooter, has never shot below 34% from three. He's shooting a woeful 21% from three and 11% from three in conference play. I hate to say it for Badger fans, but I think he is due to start shooting well. I feel like he's going to knock down a three or two or maybe even three threes. I think he will find the bottom of the net on a three-pointer or two or a few. Minnesota is obviously much improved, and they are on a three-game losing streak, so they're going to come out desperate. They're going to come out ready to play. It's going to be a physical game. And the fans are going to bring it. Even though it's going to be a Tuesday night, the barn will be rocking. It is a rivalry game, especially for Minnesota. It's more of a one-sided rivalry. Wisconsin's big brother when it comes to basketball and football for the most part uh, outside of the recent years. But yeah, this is going to be a good game. But I look at this Minnesota team and I see that Iowa just a week ago went into the barn and got a victory with Hawkins playing. Um... With uh, questionable Hawkins, I'm going to pick Wisconsin to get this victory. Um, I, I don't think it'll come easy. I, I think a big difference maker will be uh, the fact that Wisconsin last week went, went to Penn State and defensively they did not bring the intensity or the effort. Um, the day, the uh, points per possession were far too high for uh, Penn State. I think Wisconsin going to learn from that. I think they're going to be really locked in defensively and their offense is, is a pretty well-oiled machine at this point. So I, I do expect Wisconsin to get the victory in a hard-fought game. And that is all I got for you. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If this is your first video with me, make sure to like and subscribe for more college basketball content. See you next time.